So if you have an engine that's squealing and you know it's not a belt, I thought I'd go over some of the things that I found that can cause the squealing when it's not a belt. If you come across this problem and you had a squealing that's not a belt, let us know down in the comments below what caused it for you. But the first thing that I found is going to be that the PVC valve has got stuck closed. And this does happen. The PVC valve basically relieves the pressure from the crankshaft and it takes the air from the crankshaft and feeds it back into the intake to go back in and get burnt off. And when these get clogged up, they can cause sometimes like a whistling noise or they can cause different noises like a belt that's gone bad and to test one of these you could pull out the engine oil dipstick and sometimes you can remove the engine oil cap and that'll relieve the pressure and so if you do that and the noise does go away then very likely you just got a clogged up pvc valve and it just needs to be replaced but first thing on the list is going to be a pvc valve is stuck closed and the next thing on the list is going to be that a lifter roller has become locked up and the lifters come in they push up on the push rods to open and close the valves and when these rollers become locked up they could cause noises sometimes like a belt that's gone bad so the next thing on the list is going to be that one of these lifter rollers has become locked up and the next thing is going to be that the alternator is going bad and when these are going bad or the bearings inside they're going bad or anything they can cause a noise which can sometimes sound like a belt and so you could go around and check it usually when the bearings or something like that's going bad on the alternator it'll start to get hotter than it should but the next thing on the list is going to be that the alternator is making a whine sound and another thing that can cause this problem is that the idler pulleys become worn out or the belt tensioners got a bad bearing or something along these lines and so if you replace this belt and then you're still getting this noise coming from here then you could go around and you could check out this belt tensioner and the idler pulley and things like this because they might have a bad bearing bearing and there might be an issue going on there and the last thing on the list is not too common but it does happen sometimes and that's when the starter doesn't disengage and it's running on the flywheel and that can definitely cause problems when this is happening if you can see the flywheel then you'll be able to see the teeth on it are getting grinded on because that starter teeth are riding on that flywheel and like i said this isn't so common but it does happen sometimes it's something to be aware of if you can't find out where that noise is coming from be sure that your starter is disengaged and it's going back in and it's not stuck on that flywheel so that's basically it i just wanted to go over some of the causes that if you have an engine squealing and it's not the belt what else could be causing it like i said if you come across this problem and you had a squealing noise like a belt but it's not the belt and it's something else going on then please let us know down in the comments below but that's basically it if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day